My home girl. <laughs> Anton, what the hell? <laughs> uh, what's going on? I, I I feel silly coming on here because that that was a real serious Why? conversation that you had. Well, no, Why? but we I had to say all the time. what I had to say was <laughs> the real issue is like. I'm going back to Miss Kenise. Shout out to you and you promoting your business. <laughs> I knew it was something underneath there, okay? Like, you know, it's one thing for somebody to like, you know, have a plan and like, well, she had a plan, right? She wanted to get married. She wants to experience the fruits of someone else's life. Hey, I just I just texted Lauren and told her to cam up, y'all. So Lauren was acting scary no. when I talked to her earlier today. But I said, Lauren, I need you to cam up. I want to get your insight. Because the one thing that I'll say about Lauren, shout out to Lauren. I'm going to put her uh, IG in the description after the show. The one thing about Lauren is that Lauren is going to be authentically real. She's going to be honest. And more importantly, Lauren is out here doing the work. I'm not going to take y'all behind the scenes. I'm not going to show y'all her in the gym and all of that. But Lauren is out here getting it. But go ahead. Let me let me hear what you got to say, though. Um, I think the real the real... I don't want to say issue, but the, the underlying thing is like your whole premise is like getting and, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but we need to get black men caught up. Right. Like your, your whole, yeah. yeah, it's like we're tra black men are trailing. Right. And so it's like mm -hmm. I need to, you know, shift their mindsets and get them back on track. Yep. And, you know, you see course, me having these conversations every day. Right. And of course, you know, when she came on, I'm like, of course, I'm thinking at uh, at it from a, okay, um, I knew, I knew it had to be something. I knew it was a so someone that was not black. And unfortunately, I hate that that's the case. Right. Um, and so I was jokingly in the chat talking about, okay, give us the game, sis. Okay. Gotta be white. Gotta have a dad bod. Okay. Gotta be old. Gotta have bread. You're not, you're not okay. rocking with the dad bod or none of that junk, are you? I mean, dad bod is fixable, right? Okay. You know, I, obviously if I'm putting in work, I would expect, you know, him to be putting in work, right? It, it, it's one and the same, but <sighs> I, I just had, a, I don't want to say I had an issue with it, but it, it just took me aback because it's like, have we black women given up to so much that we have to resort to men of other races? And I'm not knocking men of other races at all, mm -hmm. but you know, that, that really. So let me ask you a question, L. Me, honestly. Let me ask you a question. Cause this is a conversation that I haven't even had on this channel yet. Right. But let's explore it. Let's go down this path. Right. Would you rather have a guy? Are you willing to lower your standards to get a guy that looks like you? Am I willing to lower my standards to get a black man? Let's just no, let's just say hypothetically, because there's some dope black guys, right? And there's some dope white guys, there's some dope guys from all races, right? But let's just say hypothetically, for example, Kanice, I think that was her name, Kanice felt that in order to get what she wanted, she had to step outside of her people that look like her, right? Right. And that's unfortunate. Playing devil's advocate, based mm -hmm. off of that circumstance and a conversation that we have, are you willing to step down a tier, hypothetically, right, if you have to, to stay within your own? Is it more important to stay within your own or is it more important to get what you want? Stay within my own. Why? Um, it's it's just it's ingrained in me. I'm sorry. Like I know too much about history. That's not a good. That's not a good excuse, Lauren. It's you not have a to good make. Excuse. You have to make your argument based off of your own personal reasoning and desires, not based right. off of what's ingrained in you. You got to okay. give me a logical explanation from that perspective. Okay, so y'all not gonna like what I gotta say, but in the event when did I ever like what you gotta say? <laughs> right, y'all never do. You're right. <laughs> Nobody ever does. Um, but in the event that my so hypergamy is a thing, right? I want the mm -hmm. best, right? In the event that the black man it cannot fit my income criteria, 
I know that I can bridge the gap. Would I want to do that for the rest of my life? No. What but, if you have to? Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, if I have to, and it's, if I have to, no, I won't. No, because it has to make sense because you're right. Marriage is a business. It has to make sense, right? Anytime you start a business, you're going to lose like it's it's you're going to lose something, right? There's some losses involved in in that, and I guess you can equate that to compromise, right? There's there's some loss involved when you start a business or when you enter into a business. You're not going to win off rip, right? You're going to take mm -hmm. some ifs along the way, and so what I'm saying is, starting out, I may be willing to take an L in some area. What that area is, I don't know. It could be the dad body. It could be the salary. It could be. <laughs> I don't know. And that is on, that's on a case by case basis. Like, is this guy worthy of me like lowering a standard or two? I don't know. I can't say this is all, you know, hypothetical at this point. But I'm saying, yes, I'm willing to take an L, but a conversation will need to be had. We will need to sit down. We need to talk about the future and like really purely off of color. Yeah. You willing to sacrifice all of this stuff purely off of so I can get a black man? Yes, and I'm I just love black <laughs> men. I'm sorry, there's nothing that a white man can give me. I'm I sorry. don't. I listen. I don't. I'm not arguing for or against. I'm just asking. And black men, I love y'all, and I'm so glad that y'all are in the chat. I'm so glad that y'all have our Patreon members. Well, they be trying to kill you. Tampa. They be trying to kill you. They be on your head. They do. That's okay. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. It's okay. <laughs> have you ever been with a white guy? You ever dated a white guy? I've been on a date with a white guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. How did it go? But I have not dated. Like, it was just a one and done. I think my personality was a little bit too big for him. Um, and it was just not a good match. I got you. Listen, I'm not saying you're wrong or right, right? Every Listen, I believe that's the one thing I'm never going to kill nobody on is their preferences. I'll never kill anybody on their preferences. But I do want to understand the mindset behind why people think the way that they think, right? right. And so... Me asking these questions is trying to just get a, a better understanding for both myself and the audience as to why you desire or why you're willing to do certain things considering these circumstances, right? And so, and honestly, too, I think about myself as a like eventually when I become a mom and I have sons and my son wants to, you know, marry outside of his race. I would like, and she, he doesn't want to marry a black woman. Like, as a mom, I'll be like, yo. What did I do? I would feel like a failure. Essentially, if I was as a black mom, if I had a kid, a son, I'll feel like a failure. Like, what did I not instill in my son that makes him want to go the opposite way? What does he what mental model or what does he believe about black women that he feels like he needs to get it elsewhere? You know, and okay, I so, and, st so statistically speaking, only one in four black women will get married. That's not even considering getting married to people outside of their race. That's just getting married. So obviously it'll be lower with black men because right. maybe it's just not as much to go around. So considering mm -hmm. that and the pool getting smaller, are you still absolutely positively standing on the idea that I'm not doing it unless it's with a black guy? I mean, what if I'm he's, what if he's Hispanic? What if he's Italian? What if I'm, he's, I mean, I'm open. And it ain't gotta be white. It's just in general. He, don't, he doesn't have to be white. And honestly, he could be a part of any race that has, Oh God, he could be a part of any race that has, <laughs> that has per perhaps experienced oppression in some way, shape, or form. Like you have to, like we can't have to have conversations. Why? And be, well, you I mean, know, you have not experienced some, some level of relatability. Lauren, I'm not gonna yes, let Lauren. you do it. I'm not. You know, listen. This is what I'm not gonna let you do. Nobody alive today has been a slave or owned a slave. It doesn't matter. So, so. But we experience microaggressions. We experience. You know, rent. We experience Asian people experience micro, micro that's what, aggression. But that's what I'm Jewish, saying. Anti, Jewish anti, people experience microaggression. Anti, you missed what I was saying. Like it could be, okay, okay, it could okay, be. Sorry, yes, sorry. Asians do, Hispanics do. But I'm saying, like, I, I'm talking race alone. We're not bringing in socioeconomic status in this race alone. If you if you can relate on some level, I just cannot see me sitting at a dinner table with my white husband and his white family in having conversations and I, and I'm, so what if i told you that regardless like even, take the race out of it me and rita are complete opposites i say it all the time like we don't have to have 
similarities or see things the same in order for us to be successfully married. As a matter of fact, it's the thing that we leverage that actually makes us makes us more successful. I lean on the idea that I actually am completely different from her in order to not only get a better understanding of some things, but to also champion and highlight and use that to my advantage. Whereas if we were both the same in every single thing or we needed to be relatable across the board, I would say that that would hinder us more than it would help us. Yeah. I mean, I would, I agree with you 1000%. Um, and you gave me a hard and fast, would you, or would you not? Of course, mm -hmm. with anything, there is a gray area. Um, so to answer your question, if I had to choose, you know, which way I would go, I would always choose a black man. I, and, okay. And I, I'm with that. I I, have, I'm not, I'm not killing your preference, but what right. I am going to force you to do is to, it's, is to justify your argument. So, the question that I have as a result of that is considering the statistics mm -hmm. of women getting married, specifically black women. Right. Are you still willing to stand on and die on that sword if there is no man available for you to marry that meets your criteria? That's black. I can't say. I can't say. You have to. Because it's I mean, one thing to I, have a preference. Minded? It's one thing to have a preference, but I would argue that the overwhelming majority of women of any race often at times do not get the thing that they want, but they get the thing that they settle for. So to have a preference versus what it is right. that you're willing to settle for is a completely different conversation. Are you willing yeah. to die on that sword? No, I'm not. So you will date a guy that's outside. I of, will. Of like I said, like I said, I've went, I've gone on a date with a white man before. I've, I, you know what I'm saying? So that means I'm open to the idea of it. But mm -hmm. I'm saying if I had to choose, like just when you go to a, a wedding and they say, what's your preference, chicken or fish? And you click, you mm -hmm. you check chicken, you're going to be expecting chicken. My preference mm -hmm. is a black man. <laughs> and preference and, and, versus what you're open to open to doing is two different things. Lauren. It is, it is. And, but if they ran out of chicken and they're gonna be like, all we got is fish, I ain't gonna be like, I'm a star for the rest of the night. I'm gonna try to eat the fish unless I'm allergic. Some, 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 some women is willing to go without. Well, I'm not that. I can't, I ain't gonna starve. So <laughs> I will I will say this though. I think my steadfastness in like wanting to be with a black man is attributed to the fact that I have three brothers, three is three and I'm the only girl. So like I have an affinity to just black men. Like it's something about a black man that I just feel like I'm with you. Listen, I'm you not killing I mean? your preferences. I just need to understand why Megan makes sense.